Hello and welcome once again, friends. My name is Gerald, pastor of Innovate Christian Community Church in Kannapolis, North Carolina. Welcome to you from wherever you're tuning in to us. We are together to read the Psalms as we have been doing daily for quite some time now, always just in the hopes that you are blessed and encouraged by our reading God's Word together. Today is Psalm 108. It is a Psalm of David. It is entitled, With God We Shall Do Valiantly. My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing and make melody with all my being. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is great above the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth, that your beloved ones may be delivered, give salvation by your right hand, and answer me. God is promised in his holiness. With exultation, I will divide up Shechem and portion out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. Judah my scepter. Moab is my wash basin. Upon Edom, I cast my shoe. Over Philistia, I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O God? You do not go out, O God, with our armies. O grant us help against the foe, for vain is the salvation of man. With God we shall do valiantly. It is he who tread down it is he who will tread down our foes. So here we have David praying to God first off offering him thanks and praise and telling him he will sing and play music for him and that praying that he would be exalted. You know, whenever we start our prayers, I don't know what your prayer life is. Mine could always use improvement. I think all of our prayer, prayer lives could use some improvement, but I know mine for sure can. You know, but whenever I start my own prayers, I have learned to do much like what David does, and even Christ in teaching us the Lord's Prayer, is offering God praise and thanksgiving. And whenever we come before the King, it is good to praise Him, to thank Him. You praise Him for who He is, you thank Him for what He's done, and then we make our request of Him. You know, it's always remembering first and foremost who it is we're coming to speak to. You know, we've talked about God's holiness and his righteousness. And I think sometimes, and I know even in my own prayer life, you know, I take it too much for granted, probably. You know, it's nothing to just lay in bed and say a prayer. You know, but to get down and bow on our faces to him. Now, some of us have rough knees. Don't judge. But the idea of being aware of who it is we are coming before with our petitions. Who it is we are coming to honor. You know, prayer should be an honor to God as well as it is an act of worship too. But it should also be honoring and glorifying to him for his people to come before him to ask him for his help. You know, think about it, especially if you're a parent. You know, what do you want your children to do? Sure, at some point you want them to be able to stand up on their own and take some ownership over their lives and to do some things without you. But whenever they have a need, doesn't it do your heart good? For them to come and ask you to give them a hand or to help them with something. Now granted, they may not come in there and say, oh, awesome father, or so great mother you are. But yet they still come to you because they know you got the answers or you've got the ability that they may not have and that they may need. So the same thing goes for us with, with our Heavenly Father. Now again, he's king, he's creator, he deserves our praise and our worship and our glorifying him and our exalting him before we make any request. 
but don't you think it does his heart good for his people to come seeking the answers, seeking his help from him? Because we know and we recognize he has the answers. He has the power and the ability to help us in our time of need. And then as David says here, you know, with God, we shall do valiantly. You know, stop trying to do everything on your own. Sure, there's some things we need to be standing up and taking care of. But there's many things in our lives we need to be seeking the Father's help for or with so that we can do valiantly because it is him that strengthens us, gives us the ability, and even he that fights for us. Friends, as always, my hope and prayer is just as this little word has been a blessing and an encouragement to you. And if so, would you please pass it on, share it with somebody else, leave a comment. When you comment on these on certain platforms, it allows them to be seen by other people. And my heart is just that it helps and blesses others. Friends, once again, I thank you for tuning in. and We'll be back on here tomorrow evening again for our next psalm. Have a wonderful evening.